Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. We're here at Kiwanis Park, which is our baseball softball complex. Uh, it's still in phases. We're not completely finished with it, but we're making progress. It looks great. But one of the things we're to now is the outfield fence has been raised to meet the level of the sod and it's been painted. And so now we're in the process of selling uh, advertisements. And as you can see, we have We've sold four on this side and four on that side. So if anyone's interested, any business owners out there, or if you know someone that you'd like to visit with about, uh, they are four by eight. You can buy a four by eight, or you can buy an eight by eight if you would like. And they are good for six seasons. They cost $600, it's $100 a season because we feel like there's three seasons per year. We have softball in the uh, fall, we have baseball in the spring, and then in the summer we have baseball and softball tournaments and then the city uses it at times. So there's lots of exposure. So the $600 is good for two years and uh, the people come up with the design that they want their advertisement to look like. It can be a business card or whatever. Um, and uh, again, it's good for two years, six seasons, $100 a season, and then they can renew it if they would like. So spread the word. All the money goes straight back into the baseball and softball programs. They split the money evenly and it goes to uh, those particular programs and the coaches decide how they need to spend that money. Uh, what I also want to talk about is the Harvest for the Hungry, the community covered. Uh, that happens every year. They're trying something a little different this year. Instead of getting all the donations in October, like they have done in the past, they're going to spread it out throughout the school year. Uh, in the past, when they get it all at once, number one, uh, they run out of food throughout the year. Number two, their storage uh, room is not really large enough to accommodate all the uh, donations. We'll continue to do uh, Salvation Army in uh, December, like we always do, but we're going to spread out Harvest for the Hungry. You'll get more information about it uh, later on, but just to give you an idea, Altus Intermediate School will be collecting uh, the canned goods and the food uh, October, the week of October the 11th. Altus Junior High will be doing October, the week of October 19th. Altus High School will be collecting uh, the week of October 25th. We're trying to do those three large schools to get lots of things for Thanksgiving and for the Christmas holidays uh, for our community that are in need. And AECC will be uh, the week of November 1st. Then in January, we don't have an exact date yet, but Rivers will be collecting in January. Altus Elementary School will be collecting in February. And Altus Primary School will be collecting in March. Again, that will spread out families that have kids at different sites, their donations, and it also will help uh, the community covered to make sure they don't run out of food throughout the year for the people in need across our community. It's a great opportunity for Altus Public Schools to give back uh, to our community because we have the best supportive community that helps Altus Public Schools in so many ways. So again, don't forget about the signs. We're excited about the advertisements for uh, Kiwanis Park and then uh, Harvest for the Hungry and Salvation Army food drives that are coming up. And as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.